Andrea, what is a good issue? And my first question would need to be, what is good? What do we mean when we say good? Um, because I think we put a lot of pressure on ourselves as teachers to do things good and well. While we're first learning these lost tools, um, good is when we've done what we've been asked to do, when our students and, and ourselves have done what we've been asked to do, what we've been instructed. And so to develop an issue, we've said that it's a character doing an action. That's an active action from the story. If our students and ourselves have chosen a character who's done a specific action in the story, we have a good issue. Good has been achieved. Um, but the pressure to do anything more than that isn't necessary. Because I think the purpose of an, an issue is to learn how to think. Mm. And any issue will help you do that. Mm. Any clear issue. Mm -hmm. Right. But April, you were... Uh, well, the specificity helps you uh, play with those tools and master mm -hmm. those tools. Mm -hmm. uh, and from level one to level three, those, those big ideas that students and parents want to play with, you get there. Mm -hmm. um, it's really wonderful since you developed the foundation and learned to create that spe specific issue in level one, you get to level three and you are pondering the necessary question. You are learning to ask the questions to find that necessary. A, actually I shouldn't say the, because mm -hmm. I've been in enough conversations now about level three that um, it's been decided, you know, in the circle that um, there's, there's probably not just the necessary question. There's a, um, but that's just for me, the, the brilliance of the program um, that again, those things that, that we desire and we want from the very beginning, we get there and the, the students are better equipped when they get there to handle those necessary questions because they have a toolbox overflowing with tools. Um, they're ready and uh, hopefully eager to play with those ideas. It, the, the mastery, I think, provides a lot of joy for students. Um, mm -hmm. And so the level three, maybe that's why I find it so joyful because I've spent so much time with level one and level two. So three is very joyful to me because um, I get to play with bigger ideas or um, parts of the story, maybe. And you talk about that, getting at more of the, the, some of the necessary questions, a necessary question. So when I was first crafting my issues, I wanted to find an issue that I defined as good is if it got at something really important in the story. And I found that as long as I thought of a character who did an action in the issue within that story, I would touch on everything within that story. I would look at everything in that story better by my one issue. I didn't have to find the important one mm -hmm. yet at that, at that time. And Andrew Kern taught me the same thing when it comes to my reading with the Cersei guide to reading. He says that um, after we do our scans, right, we develop our own questions that we're going to read with the, the whole story with looking for. And of course, I felt that pressure again to do the, do it right, do it well, have the good question. And he said, no, um, you will read the whole story better with a question. Doesn't matter what the question is, but you'll attend to everything better when you're looking for your one question than you will without any question. Right. Mm -hmm. Something to read I, for. I wonder, I was just thinking, I wonder if it's because if you're just dealing with one character, you have to think of the character in that space and time making that decision and how it relates to everything going around you yes. uh, or that character. I did uh, Helen of Troy, whether she should have spiked the wine at the, mm -hmm. the meal. It's one mm -hmm. of my favorite topics that I, or issues that I did. Um, but I got to think back all the way to uh, Hector's wife because she had been taken as a slave. And that wasn't necessarily, I don't, I think she's mentioned maybe just a line because uh, is it Achilles's son has taken her, I think as a prize. Um, but just from Helen of Troy's, that, that moment I could touch on so many things and, and think through it so much better. I could just think through it better than I could if I did that, that broad good topic that we think we are going for. Mm -hmm. Right. Because, and I remember reading that when you wrote it, it it's a memorable one. It's one that stands out to me because it, when she did that, she affected several of the men who we had, we'd been reading about in the whole Iliad and to see what each man needed, you had to know what happened to them in that war. Mm. So it does pull in everything. 
Yeah, mm. it's great. Thanks.